Hi everyone, I'm Coach Craig Brzezinski, head strength coach and owner of Aimstrong, a strength conditioning company with a mission to positively coach and train each athlete to develop their strength conditioning, mental performance, and skills necessary for personal success. It is my pleasure to have the opportunity to share with you some strategies for improving your strength, both mentally and physically, inside and outside of competition. Today's Wellness with Aimstrong video is all about push, pull, hinge, and squat movements. I encourage you to do it along with me. These four movement patterns are essential for everyday life and the basic core movements for all of our strength conditioning programs. Every athlete should master these basic movements, which will set the foundation for how their body moves. Neck rolls, standing with your feet shoulder width apart, knees and hips slightly flexed. Roll your neck five times to the right, followed by five times to the left, making as big of a circle with your head as you can. Next, let's do some shoulder rolls. Shrug your shoulders to your ears, rolling them forward 10 times, then backwards 10 times. Now, arm circles. Make 10 small circles forward. 10 small circles backwards. 10 big circles forward. Ten big circles backwards. Mad cats, start in a neutral spine on your hands and knees. Next, round your back as high as you can. Then, arch your back. Perform this 10 times. Half kneeling hip flexor stretch. Place one knee on the ground, tuck your back toe. Next, squeeze your glute, pushing your hips forward, raising the same arm as the knee that is on the ground. Finally, reach back with the other arm for your heel. Hold this position for 10 to 15 seconds and repeat on the other side. Half kneeling T-spine rotation. Start with one knee on the ground. Step out 90 degrees with the other foot, lining up your toe, heel, and knee. Now, place the same hand on the ground as the knee that is on the ground. Then, with your free arm, reach between your arm and your knee for the floor, and then reach for the sky. Make sure to follow your hand with your eyes. Ankle rocks. From a standing position, rock forward onto your toes and backward onto your heels. Complete this movement 10 times. Still standing, lift one leg with a bent knee, grabbing your shin with both hands, pulling it as high as you can. Alternate sides, completing five on each side, or 10 total. Quad stretch, from a standing position, lift your foot behind you. Grab it, reach up with the opposite arm, trying to keep your thighs as parallel as possible. Alternate sides, completing five movements on each side, or 10 total.
Hemi sweeps, still standing, step forward with one foot just in front of the other. Then lift your toe towards your face. Take both hands and sweep forward at the floor. Alternate sides, completing five times on each side, or 10 total. Chair squats. Set up in front of your chair with a shoulder width stance. Push your knees out and hips back as you sit down in your chair. Do not relax at the bottom. Pause for a second and stand up. Perform 10 reps each set. Chair push-ups. With your hands on either side of the chair, perform a full range of motion push-up, making sure your chest touches the chair. You can also move your hands to your desk if you need a little more assistance. 10 reps each set. Chair scap push-ups. With your hands on either side of your chair, keep your arms straight and squeeze your shoulder blades together, then separate them as far as you can. This is a short movement, but a very beneficial one for your posture. Chair side plank. Set your core, stacking your feet one in front of the other with one hand on the chair, the other hand straight up into the air. Squeeze your glutes and keep your body in a straight line. We will hold for 15 seconds each side. Single leg RDO. Using your chair as a balance point, stand next to it. With the foot closest to your chair raising up behind you, pull that toe to your shin as if you're trying to put it flat against the wall. Hinge at the hip, dropping your chest to the floor, and if you need a little balance, touch that chair to help out. We'll do eight reps on each side of the body. That concludes today's Wellness with Armstrong workout session. Thank you so much for participating.